Hi, it's Jane with Scraptastic Yarns Podcast, and today is Saturday, October the 27th. It's cold, it's wet, and yuck. I'm drinking some tea. In my husband's cup today. This tea is peach and passion fruit. It is with a black tea. And the way they phrase it is, the exotic flavors of peach and passion fruit complement each other perfectly to provide a luxury drink. Wonderful served hot, even better iced. Nope, I wanted it hot today. This is from a brand, uh, looks like it's a London tea, Ahmad. Ahmad tea. Um, it's located in London on Wood Street. It's really good. I saw this in my local grocery store, and I love peach teas. Peach and ginger being my favorite. But I saw the passion fruit, and I like passion fruit too, so I thought I'd give it a try. Got a few acquisitions today. Buttons, because Panda, scary eyes, needs white buttons. And then, now, calm down. Nothing yarn related, no crochet. My Walmart finally had these pot holders in. I have been watching these on other places. 88 cents, my favorite price, next to a dollar. And of course, you gotta get the big towel to go with it. You know, I love sugar skulls. And then they had this one as well, sugar skull. You can never have enough kitchen towels. Come on, people. I've continued to work on the Tunisian crochet, crochet shawl that I have been doing. And let me show you where I'm at on that. Let me get it here. It's in my uh, top 10 reasons for nurse. To become a nurse. And maybe I should read that to you. Top 10 reasons to become a nurse. One, pays better than fast food, though the hours aren't as good. Two, fashionable shoes and sexy white uniforms. Three, needles. Tis better to give than to receive, always. Four, reassure your patients that all bleeding stops eventually. Five, this is my one of my favorites, expose yourself to rare, exotic, and exciting new diseases. Six, interesting aromas, yes. Seven, courteous and infallible doctors who always leave clear orders in perfectly legible handwriting. Do enough charting to navigate around the world. Yes. Celebrate holidays with all your friends at work. Always. Take comfort that most of your patients survive no matter what you do to them. That's true. Doctors. Handwriting. Horrible. I mean, there would be times we would be looking at it, and you literally would take the chart and do this. Because sometimes you can figure out how to read it that way. Now with the computers, there's no excuse. <laughs> the hospital that I worked at in Texas did a pilot program with the nurses for charting with the computers. Loved it. And then they took it away. Hated that part. Because then we were handwriting notes. Um, I was also on one of the committees to help develop some a charting path for most people with certain um, 
respiratory diseases, certain people who came in with uh, AIDS. There was a certain path that you would see, whether they had infections, lung, whatever, and you would see that path, so we helped develop some different kind of noting. It was basically, you know, several sheets that folded in on each other and you could check the boxes. Then you had a area that if there was anything out of the normal, you could write what was out of the normal. Or if there were some things you wanted to document, perhaps because the patient was extremely confused or whatever, there was an area to chart. So we developed some of those things. And some of those things are what they still use with the computer programs. So it was a lot of fun to get to do that. And then, of course, I was also on the committee because the hospital that I had worked at was having a rash of uh, people who were accidentally having their tra uh, trach tubes pulled out. Usually it was when they were being transferred from the bed to a chair or you know, something like that. So we came up with a protocol that you need to have an Ambu bag at the head of every bed in the room. Need to have a, if they were a trach patient, you need to have whatever size trach and extra tape to the head of the bed so that if it did come out, you could easily replace it. You know, and all the nurses that took care of trach patients were trained to be able to quickly slip one back in if one came out, you know, those kind of things. I have to tell you, as a nurse, I saw some crazy things. I saw some amazing things. I saw a lot of things that uh, led me to believe there is a creator, a higher being. So, and one of the biggest things that I was very honored to be with when I was a nurse in the NICU and nursery was the delivery of people's babies. That is an amazing miracle. So, anyway. I don't know how I got off on that. The bag. <laughs> like I said, it's cold, it's rainy, it's ugh. I am ready to do another set of lace here. And it's only about that big. So I'm going to go to, I'm going to do another in set of lace here. And then I'm going to do another panel like this and then I will be ready to do the center part that I'm going to uh, plan on because I think it'll be long enough then I just don't think this is very long I mean it's right now it goes let's get a little measuring going on If I were to do the lace part, this right here is 30. And if I did the lace part that I was planning on doing, that would add about 5 inches. So that would be 35. And then add another 30, that would be 65 inches long. And I think I want a little longer than that. I'm aiming for about 72 across. I think that'll make it deep enough. But like I said, it's I like it. It's coming out really nice. I'm having a lot of fun with this. Um, I hope that those of you that are interested in trying Tunisian will give it a try. Um, I hope you'll watch David Birchall's channel as well. Um, he has shown a couple of shawls that he has done, some other things with Tunisian crochet, and I believe he's going to be offering us a lot more things to see, so I hope if you're not a follower of David Birchall that you will be. Um, not, I'm in love with these voice, it's very soothing. <laughs> kind of reminds me of Teddy Pendergrass, you know, it's that type of voice that when they talk or even when you see, you know, they're singing, whatever, it just calms you. You know, certain people have that voice. I worked with a nurse that uh, had that type of voice. And uh, we could be in a panic situation. We had a 
situation where uh, there was a severe hailstorm and we were on the sixth floor and I was charge nurse and as I started to go down the hall because somebody yelled for me down the hall there was an issue literally saw the building while you're standing on the sixth floor do this kind of thing my desk secretary was hysterical I said Raul I need you up here with Valeria she's panicking he came up he soothed her I went down the hall to take care of the issue and the issue was imploding windows from the sound of the hail hitting the building if you've never seen that happen it's it's kind of scary um, to have something implode because of noise vibrations so um, yeah it was a pretty severe storm we had a tornado that passed by the hospital where we were at right down the main um, Interstate 30 that year it, it was pretty frightening but we all survived it you know had a doctor that come walking in he'd been driving in from the hailstorm he's in the parking garage he's soaking wet he comes walking in and he's going I have a hole this big in my car and it was like what <laughs> he goes I have a hole this big in my trunk from the hail <laughs> he goes I'm lucky to have survived <laughs> so we're getting him towels to dry him off you know and he was kind of a little panicky so you know we're like do you drink coffee tea what we need to get you calmed down but it was a pretty interesting night that night <laughs> crazy and it just happened to me one of those times when I'd pulled into my parking area that I was supposed to be in and it was completely full so what I had done is I had gone into the garage to park covered garage you know because I was gonna go down at lunch move my car over to my parking lot because generally during the day it's busy you know and it's full you know with staff and everything so I figured once they cleared out I would moved my car over there never got to that point thank goodness because several of the people that did get there came in later you know and found a spot their cars were totaled from the hailstorm so it was, it was interesting you see things as a nurse that you won't ever see in the, the real world and you know when you see it in the real world you're like yep been there done that so that's my little nursing spiel I don't know how I got on that again absentee mind I don't know crazy didn't sleep well last night we had some kids next door they were having a party <laughs> loud music had to sleep with the earplugs in I don't like doing that but every once in a while you have to do that because they get raucous well they come out in the front yard and they're trying to get a little high neighbor across the way turned the light on because you'd see what they're doing so of course they went around to the back my husband kept going around here and back there kept turning the light on on the outside since they're on the end unit which means the street that's out on that street is also considered a state highway so the troopers can patrol it the sheriff can patrol it as well as the local police so if they see something as they're going out there, if we if we call any one of them, they can come through and see it and take care of it. So the kids didn't want to be out there and be seen. They were getting bent out of shape because they couldn't get high because we kept turning the lights on. Tit for tat. Sorry, kids. And of course, you know my usual remedy for that kind of thing is they they plot uh, you know lauded me with the sounds of their people last night so I wanted to give them the sounds of my people this morning which are called bagpipes at the top of you know the spectrum nice and loud of course my husband was here sleeping late so I didn't get to do that I know I'm bad very bad but you know usually you only have to do that once every semester you know if it's a new kid or once for that year 
they get the point and they never play their music la la again. Yeah. Crazy, crazy. And of course, because it's the full moon this week, there have been some really strange things that have been out there. We were at Walmart and people backing out into the, you know, right in front of the store, backing out from wherever they were parked at in the in the lanes, backing out into that. I don't know. Crazy. Maybe it's just the season. Who knows? All right, I've chattered on about nothing, so I'm going to drink some more of my tea, crochet a little bit more, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Remember, choose to be kind, even though I thought about not being kind.